Hey guys, I'm here again, and today I got that little uh, C64C. I just did a little customization, customization on it. I got like a SD to EIC installed internally, and a custom ROM with a GIF DOS and the original ROM on it. Uh, the big problem with those old Commodores was the speed for those old drivers, dri drives like the 1451, 1581, 1571, and blah 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 blah. blah. So, on that little fella here, I got a little S, uh, SD, SD3IC installed internally, and right here on the top of the right control port, I installed a uh, S, a micro, micro SD adapter, so I just can grab the little thing and just slide inside there. And the other side here, I got two LEDs that shows the status of the drivers. So when I turn it on, it just blinks. And yep, now I have here on GIFTOS. Okay, and let's run some few tests about speed to load on GIF DOS and on the original ROM, okay? So, here we go! Okay, the first thing I notice on GIF DOS is I don't have to load the drive to get to the software. Soon, as I turn on the computer, I just go straight and load the software. I'm using the File Browser 64 uh, on it to load the software so run and there you are uh, let's see here uh, first game I'm gonna try here it will be one game that a lot, a lot of people complain on it that was the GI Joe so let's see how they goes on the GIF DOS I'll not play anything I just gonna run some tests on speeds how low to load the games and everything, okay? So it's almost there. Let me just pop the controller here. So, the game is fully loaded already. Okay, and that's it. Now, let's get it without the GIF DOS. I installed a little switch internally inside there that I can get like uh, the real, the original ROM and the GIF DOS on it. So, let's boot now with the original ROM from the Commodore 64. So now, if I just go like load FV64, they don't run. They go, they think they're still loading the tape because they don't load the drive automatically. So shut down, come back again. I have to go on the same old way, like load FB64 8. Searching, yeah, round. So let's get there. You, as you guys can see, the timing from the load is a lot more right now than before.
see I was supposed to be I, I almost playing the game already and it's still loading they even load the first boot screen yet still there you are And as you guys can see here, while the game is still loading, the green LED is still on, acts like a hard drive. See? Keep blinking. Like, it's reading from the SD card. And see how long it takes until they load the whole game. Even, because, oh, here you are. That's just one example. So let's leave them on the original ROM. Let's run something else here. Just load. Let's find something else. Even to load to load the the directory, they take so long. Just remembering now is reading on the original ROM, okay? As you can see here, it's still reading. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. That's a big game. Is a extension D eighty one. That's a oh, here we go. And uh, D sixty one and that uh, image. It's uh, almost a megabyte big. Is a uh, eight hundred and eighty k. So that's why it takes so long to load. But let's see. After I, they finish here, I'm going to turn down, switch back to the gift DOS and see how fast they can go. And yep, there you are.
okay I don't I want to play I just wanted to show you guys the tiny loading so just shut down again switch back to the gift DOS mode turn the computer on and I don't have to load again like load B64. I don't have to put a space uh, dot eight and blah, blah blah. Just go straight, ready, and run. And see how fast they can read the directory right now. And just let us get to the same game. See again, they are reading, flashing. There you are. It's really impressive the difference on speed from the original ROM to the GIF DOS. And there you are. The game is already loaded. Um, okay, guys, until the next one, and see you again in another time and another video. Bye!